It happens every year as San Diego searches for a new queen. But what's it like to participate in the Miss San Diego pageant? Meet Stephanie Delani. I have never done anything like this before. And um, I've always watched Miss America. And I thought, well, that would be kind of fun. You know, I'd, I'd like to do that, a, a challenge, an opportunity to express myself. The search for Miss San Diego really began last October when over 60 aspiring applicants submitted to private interviews. A girlfriend told me about it, and as a UC San Diego student, I could use the scholarship money. And I tried out last year and placed first runner-up, and the scholarship money enabled me to study in Taipei last summer. Here, the number of contestants was whittled down to 12. These 12 would be the finalists for this year's pageant. Stephanie Ann Delani is a 21-year-old San Diego State student. She lives in Chula Vista with her two older sisters and her dad and mom. She was a very, a very interesting little girl, and she was quite an achiever. I tell my mother just about everything. I like to go to her and ask for advice when I need it. I don't care if Steffi doesn't win. I think it's just a thrilling thing for a young girl to participate in such a contest. Her talent is singing. See, unlike beauty contests, the Miss San Diego pageant judges talent. So once a week, she goes to the Point Loma home of Robert Austin for private vocal instructions. Now, her voice is what we call a mezzo-soprano. And that kind of voice generally ripens and matures in the late 20s. And she's got a few years to go for that. I decided I, I'm ready for the hard work. I know it's going to take a lot of hard work, but that's fine. I've got time. I mean, plenty of it. And I'll be working at other things in the meantime. Before the crowning of Miss San Diego, there are months of rehearsals. In part two, we'll follow Stephanie on stage as she attempts to become Miss San Diego. Larry Himmel, News 8. My participation in this pageant has been one of the most broadening experiences of my life, and no matter what the outcome is, I will finish a winner. Thank you. Stephanie Delani and 11 other women shared one common dream. They all wanted to be Miss San Diego. But the road to Miss San Diego is filled with rehearsals. And some good advice from the pageant's executive director, Jinx Maine. I don't want you to forget that you've got a beautiful audience, and they're all your friends and all that, and they want to hear you. But you mustn't ignore your judges. They want to be a part of what you're doing. So when you're singing, bring them into your, to what you're doing, OK? Look at them occasionally. You don't want to stare them down. But you're singing for the audience, but you're singing for them, and they're the ones that are voting, OK? We're 20 minutes away from the Miss San Diego pageant. What are your feelings now, Steph? I'm very excited. Just That's the word, excited. How's the voice? Great. I had bronchitis. I was really worried. I've got a cough drop in my mouth on Thursday, but it's just absolutely gone now. So. My participation in this pageant has been one of the most broadening experiences of my life. And no matter what the outcome is, I will finish the winner. I'm definitely not the same person I was when I first began. But yeah, I'm swept away. Regardless of what pageant you attend, you always get more than your fill of motherhood, apple pie, and dream the impossible dream. You can be a total winner, even if you're a beginner. You can ride your own black stallion, or you can wear the golden medallion. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can, you can. You can upset Tracy Austin, or run the marathon in Boston. You can finish off Darth Vader, or you can be the next Ralph Nader. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can, you can. After a few words of wisdom from the reigning Miss San Diego, the judging got underway with the evening gown competition. It was at six years of violent training. Next, the talent competition.
then the swimsuit competition. And finally, the crowning of Miss San Diego 1981. Our first runner-up is contestant number 11, Linda Cypher. And no matter what the outcome is, I will finish a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, our Miss San Diego, Cindy and Johnny, 1981, is contestant number three, Laura It was a real good experience, I have to say that. I feel, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed normally, but I feel great. I gained from the whole thing, and I really feel good about it. Larry Himmel, News 8.